conflicts require a gun. Hey, this is nice. You've worked with Brad in the past, and this is the first time directing with him. So I know the two of you are close. On set, did you sort of have this sort of synchronicity between the two of you during takes? You know, it was fun to reunite. We'd done so much work together in the past. It was like four movies. I was his stunt double. Um, big ones too. Troy, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Mexican. Um, so a couple solid years of my life working with him. Um, and Brad is such a gracious collaborator. It was really fun. You know, as a stunt performer, you build a character. You help them build a character, right? Now it came full circle and here he is building one of his iconic characters to support my movie. And I think that's what was really um, sort of special and, and um, uh, humbling. Well, I know that The Fall Guy is your next project with Ryan. Yes. Uh, you've worked with Dwayne, Jason Statham. I mean, the list goes on and now Brad. But my big question to you is, when are you gonna do a project with Jackie? Wow, um, I would love that. That might be, um, Another thing on my bucket list, how do we make that happen? I would love to work with Jackie. Um, he's my hero. We're putting it out in the universe. Putting I mean it out into the universe, Jackie. <laughs> I'm, I'm available if you're available. <laughs> sure you wanna talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. I would like to know between the two of you, you know, what was that thing about the other that made you internally say yes? That's my boy. Brian's just always ever the optimist, man. He brings the light and joy. And I think, um, you know, I gravitate to that sort of person who can, who, who is infectiously bringing that out of everyone. He brings, it's honestly, he, and he, the music and the love is just so infectious. And um, I just, it was instantaneous. So I met Brian, I just, I knew he was just going to be someone I needed in my life. Um, and, 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 you know, when you, when you meet people like that, you, you, you got to keep them close for sure. Uh, yeah, I adore this man. Yeah. It was so crazy because I hate people. <laughs> like, I, I hate people. And I, especially in the year of 2020, I was like, I hate everybody. I don't hate <laughs> and anybody. And once we got a chance to do this film, man, to hear David Leach put this man in front of me and he restored my faith in people again, you know, like he restored my faith in, and friendships again, because you know, in 2020, you, you shouldn't have been out there making new friends. You shouldn't have been. Uh, but like, you know, I got to leave my home and my little protective bubble and come to this studio and play with this man and like have a great time. And like, I just, I, I was out of all the people I could have met um, during this this crisis we were in of a country, like uh, Aaron is the one that I would literally like I would go to the ends of the world for. Uh, he's my emergency contact at this point. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if anything goes down, I'm like, I'm gonna call him. <laughs> Cause like, I just feel safe. So he, yeah, it was it was really, we wanted that to translate in, into our characters too. We wanted people to feel that cause every day was a joy. If Assam and Kimura were to face off, who do you think would come out as the winner? <laughs> Be honest. I mean, yeah, Assam would kick Kimura's ass. Kimura can't, fight he's uh he's a bit of a brawler but uh you know take a gun out of his hand he doesn't know what he's doing you know he doesn't know his he doesn't know his his left arm from his right you know the psalm <laughs> psalm top martial artist who can take down yeah it's a psalm all day um <laughs> yeah the elder really is the protagonist in this film um i would love to know when you were starting out did you have a feeling that you would be doing this type of work so steadily in such high profile films at this stage of your career? Um, since I was a kid, a child actor from five years old, every single TV or stage or movie, those experience brought me here now. So I would like to say thank you for all you know, filmmakers or actors who, you know, gave me a, some inspiration. And then, of course, a thank you for the audience. There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here? Yeah, 
I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. I personally really appreciated watching you have this type of role with such complexity. Can you talk to me about connecting with him on, on a personal level? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's, 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 um, he's in, a, in a certain way, he's Andrew, he's me, if I'd gone down a different path in my life. Um, uh, and certain things, certain things that he's gone through, uh, I can connect with in my, in my, you know, connect to my personal, um, way, in my personal way. So uh, ironically for such a, a fun comic book, uh, film it's quite a personal um, role to me um and yeah so yeah there are there's there's a bunch of things a bunch of issues that he went through or has go through you know yeah i can i can identify when david brought you this project what really excited you about playing the elder yeah my character elder has own story background family history and um own revenge story so um he looks serious but some you know his comment or movement makes the laugh <laughs> to the audience <laughs> uh those balance is a most important thing and then drama emotion action and then comedy and all in one in the character, so that's why I really enjoyed. Oh. I've led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal.